confession, um, I don't treat everybody the same. Swoozy! You're a good, wholesome guy. You're supposed to treat everybody the same. False. If you treat everybody the same, then what's the reward for being an exceptionally good friend? Think about it. I'll be friendly to everybody, but the friend who's done me dirty versus the friend who's had my back for the last 10 years, best believe this person is gonna get better treatment than this person. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I'm the best kind of friend there is to have. Back in my wilder days especially, like, I was down for whatever. I'd be at school in the hallways and I'd see my friend in a heated discussion with some random dude and I'd walk up in the middle, no questions asked, and be like, hey yo, you got a problem with my friend? You got a problem with me, partner? And I know you don't want that, player. People like to do this really awesome thing where they forget all the nice things you've done for them. In most cases, you're only gonna know if you're a bad friend if somebody takes the time to tell you. And they're probably not gonna tell you because they're nice. They're just gonna stop hanging out with you. A number of us don't take time to notice our own flaws when it comes to how we behave in our own friendships. And everybody thinks they're an awesome friend. So let's play a little game. If I were to ask you to rate what kind of friend you are, would you say you're an awesome friend? Or would you say you're a super shady, unreliable, trifling friend? I'm imagining most of you would say awesome, but let's find out. Do you owe anybody some money? And has it been one or two paychecks and you haven't paid them back a penny? Same thing when it comes to borrowing stuff like clothes or games. See, I don't have a problem letting my friends borrow stuff, but see, after about three or four months, I feel awkward asking for my stuff back. And that part of me that's agitated always flares up midway through me asking for my stuff back. So I'll be like, hey, I'm in the neighborhood. I'm going to stop by your house and you better have my game. This is only going to work if you guys are honest about it, okay? Do you say you're going to be somewhere and you never show? It doesn't matter if it's, hey, I'm going to stop by your house later, or hey, I'm going to meet up with y'all, and it's a regular thing for you to not show up. Same applies if you say you're going to do something. If you say, hey, I'm going to X, Y, Z, and you never X, Y, Z, take 10 points off. Do you get excited over canceled plans? If you're like that, don't take any points off. It just means you're lazy. Or you're addicted to Tumblr. One of the two, and it's okay. Are you saying stuff behind their back that you wouldn't say to their face? Same thing if you can't keep your mouth shut, like if they tell you, hey, don't tell nobody, and you go ahead and tell a few people, yeah, take 10 points off, you fall in this category. Now this is something I'm battling and now getting over to, procrastination and showing up late. Eight o'clock means eight o'clock, not 8.15 or 8.20. It's important to spend time with that significant other, but not at the expense of your true friend. Because nine times out of 10, they were there before you were in a relationship, and more than likely they're gonna be there after the relationship. And on the flip side of that, don't neglect your friends and then only hang around them when there's trouble in your relationship. When you're hanging out with your friends, are you constantly looking at your phone? I know Lady Gaga and Justin Bieber, they post some pretty mind-blowing stuff, but those tweets are gonna be there when you get home. If you're the kind of friend that takes and never gives, You'll know if this is you, if you go to that friend and you really, really need some help, but then as soon as that friend turns around and asks you for some help, you come up with some lame excuse, or you're too busy, or you just brush them off or ignore them, that's you. If you only hit up your friends when you want to hear your own voice out loud, you'll know if this is you, if when you're talking to your friends, all they ever say is, uh-huh, yeah, really? And it's okay to have problems, but when it's every single time you talk to a friend, then unfortunately this is you. Negative dies. If you're an abusive friend, and I'm not just talking physically abusive, like if you're constantly talking down to your friends, or you're verbally or psychologically abusive, that's not a friend. So if all these apply to you, I got bad news and I got good news. The bad news is you're a super shady, unreliable, trifling friend. The good news is you can turn all this around today 